So you wanna know how to edit viral hooks on Instagram? Well, I'm here to show you guys my secret formula to doing so. And to be honest, my formula is actually pretty simple. Like it's pretty stupid simple. It's literally using camera movement, eye-catching text and images, and then using sound effects to really tie everything together. Literally only three steps to making dope looking hooks. But before we go ahead and get into today's tutorial, I'll let you guys know that my name is Chris Bistead and I run the Tigor shop. We're so editing assets and presets for content creators just like you to edit faster and better. And if you're watching this video before Christmas, then I'm actually doing a huge holiday sale. So if you want to go ahead and get any of my preset packs, they are heavily discounted during these next couple weeks. So save time, save money, go ahead, check out the link down in the description below and cop some dope editing packs. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get straight into today's tutorial. All right, guys. So I actually have a uh, hook that I literally just made in like probably five to 10 minutes, uh, super, super slight. And I really wanted to just break down all that was really going on. So let's actually go ahead and watch it first. So you guys can see that like this is a pretty goofy like hook, but it uses all of these steps in like my formula. So let's go ahead and play it through. Before we quit, let me tell you something I wish I knew before I got started in business. Okay, so it's like literally such a goofy hook, but I mean, if I was scrolling, I would probably sit down and watch like that entire hook and be like, okay, cool. Like I'll give it a shot. Or if it's just not the type of video I wanna watch, then like I'll probably just get by. But I want to show you guys sort of the elements to the hook. So that way you guys can see what's really going on and just really break it down because I feel like editing tutorials like tactical information is amazing, but I have so many of those. So this video, I really just want to like break down sort of how I edit hooks and how I make them look more visually appealing rather than just a basic, you know, text on screen hook. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do for my hooks is add some camera movements, right? So the first thing that I like to do is go ahead, drag and drop an adjustment layer into my timeline. These are all adjustment layers just renamed just so that way you guys can see what's going on for tutorial's sake so my first camera movement is always a punch out and what this does is it really like stops people from scrolling by so i'll show you guys what that looks like before we quit let me tell you something i so it's just something to get someone's attention really really quickly by the way this preset is inside of my takeover content editing pack if you guys want to go ahead and cop it really great deal especially right now go cop it link will be down in the description below so that's the first movement that i always always include before we quit let me tell you something and then i like to add like a subtle zoom out so this is without the punch out this is the zoom out before we quit let on me its tell own you something i wish i knew before i got you can see it's a super subtle zoom out let's combine these as well before we quit let me tell you something i wish you i see knew it before zooming I got out zooming out zooming out and that's really really clean now i actually added like a third camera movement now this is all scenario based on this third one like these two i always add but this one's depends on the hook so i'll just go ahead and show you guys something i wish i knew before so when i say wish i knew like that's kind of like a second like half of the hook i guess or like a uh, big point that i make um so i really wanted to use my editing to really like push that narrative forward i guess in a fancy way of saying it so this is with all camera movements before we quit, let me tell you something I wish I knew before I got started in business. Now you can see that's already looking so much more dynamic than just a boring, like just stagnant clip. Now let's go ahead and throw on the overlay. Started in business. Big transition overlays are honestly banger. So you need to go ahead and get yourself one. If you don't have one, take over starter kit right down below. You can grab my free overlay. So now this is where sort of like the hook actually starts to make sense is your text. So I went ahead and added some text. Let's go ahead and just get rid of all the camera movement so you guys can see what the text looks like just bare before we quit let me tell you something i wish i knew before i got started in business so my key thing with text is just format it in a way that it looks unique and like interesting and fun so i did like small and then i just made this like match the same length as here so it looks really good before we quit and then i also applied like a uh, slide in animation to this word quit um again using my preset pack you guys can learn how to use those uh in an other previous video it'll be in the top right hand corner how to animate make smooth animations etc so yeah i went ahead and did that before we quit let me tell you something i wish i knew and then i chopped it up when i say wish i knew i just did the same exact thing and then i also added a glow layer to it so i just duplicated the text again added my uh my glow preset i actually have a video tutorial on that as well in the channel so i'll link it right here again for you guys dropping sauce i know so yeah let's go ahead and play everything together before we quit let me tell you something i wish i knew before i got started in business okay so that's two steps that's literally only camera movement and text right oh actually wait no and then we have graphics look 
the graphics before you quit let me tell you something i wish i knew before i got so that's like the image so you could add images and text and animate them and just make them look good so yeah so step one camera movement two text and images and then the third step is actually sound effects now i've been having the sound effect playing the entire time but here's the hook without the sound effects quit, let me tell you something i wish i knew before i got started in business figure out your so like it's not terrible but like it just like there's no like anticipation that's building up and there's nothing really sucking you into the edit now i really love using this uh riser this is actually in the takeover starter kit as well i have free sound effects in there so you guys can go and check it out but it's the metallic riser and i just apply it i go to this little button right here and then i apply some heavy reverb about six and then i turn the uh the gain down probably about a couple decibels you don't really have to and then i line up the uh the riser right at the cut and then we'll go ahead and play it through with all three steps combined together to make your viral hook before you quit let me tell you something i wish i knew before i got started in business Bigger and then there you go that's literally how to piece together a viral hook in three simple steps now in each step there are like sub steps to really make it look extra saucy but if you can combine all of these three elements together in a way that looks great then you're on your way to building a viral hook but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video if you guys learned a little bit of something please feel free to uh, subscribe like the video comment down below but anyways that's it for me today remember take action take over i'll see you guys in the next one peace out but real quick go cop an editing pack if you're watching before christmas don't miss out on this deal it's not coming back for another year peace